Hi friends, MD Vegan. <laughs> Fruit salad uh, with nuts and a nice dressing. It's my idea for a filling breakfast. Uh, one of my favorite ideas in many ways, of course. But the fruit salad is great because it is so fresh and light and you have fresh fruit, colors, uh, so many different nutrients. can't even count them because East Plants has uh, hundreds, even thousands. And we don't know so much, but great variety is important. So I have these fruit salads. Always try a new combo and add nuts and seeds and dried fruits to make it more filling and more uh, uh, keeping for some time. Today I make a fruit salad with common fruit, adding some nuts and um, raisins and a dressing. First I show, show the dressing because that's always it takes a little bit more time when you blend the dressing. Can take more time um, to get it really creamy. I begin with a banana today, three bananas. That's often. I often make a dressing with bananas. There are other ways too, but bananas and nuts especially are one of my favorites. This is the um, lemony cashew cream. A handful of cashews, two to three bananas, and the lemony comes from the zest because that makes the lemon flavor. Here's the lemon zest. Here's the lemon, half a lemon, whole zest. And five dates. That's these size of dates. They have different sizes, of course. Yeah, but it's a very nice flavor. And this dressing, it um, helps to uh, elevate the flavors of the other ingredients. It helps them to taste even better. <laughs> yeah, and some water to get the blender going. After the first blending, I decide if I need more water. And this dressing is also in another video. It's my favorite ones: lemony cashew cream. It's under this video. There's a link. You can find more about this dressing in the other video. Blender dance. That's a quick dressing, a quick blending, just to break the nuts down in the dates. Now they can soak a bit, and I have a chance to taste it. Okay, nice, as should. And um, it's a good amount of water. It's a perfect texture, I would say. All I have to do is one more blending after the soaking. No, not with the soaking. So, the main ingredients of the fruit salad here is a wonderful combo of three very common fruit here in Germany. Common. It's a pear. It's a large pear. Oh, and they are ripe. They are just so delicious. Pure delight. And I have an apple here, the crunchy one. So the opposite. Almost the same nutrients and calories, both pears and apples. But they have a specialty. Pears are for the liquid elimination, the kidneys. Cleansing and the apples for the firm elimination or the intestines. So, otherwise, <laughs> nutrients, I mean, they have vitamins, minerals, um, calories, all the same. Apples and pears. Interesting, right? But there's a difference, and that's of course because of the phytonutrients, all these thousands of nutrients in each plant that we don't know so much about yet. Yeah. But that's, that's, that shows how, how they differ, especially even if the, the, the common nutrients, the um, vitamins and minerals and the calories and so are the same. Yeah? Still big differences. And here, an orange. So these are the really three common fruits in our country. You get them always, you know, almost everywhere. It's very simple to get them. They're not expensive. And that's the base of my fruits here today. And today I add to up the nutrition to make it more keeping and filling. I just have some nuts here. That's hazelnuts. I like them so much with apples and pears and so. And raisins also perfect with that. It's a nice amount. You can take more or less as you like. They're very powerful. Nuts are super healthy, and if they are raw, you 
you cannot gain weight by eating every day, every extra nuts. The raw nuts rather bring down your weight. It's crazy, they have so much fat. And we thought, wow, it's not bad for our weight. No, it's the opposite. <laughs> eating fresh nuts without uh, salt, oil, or roasted or so, just the pure plain nuts, the raw nuts, they will bring down the weight. That's, that's so fascinating, the big studies about it. They don't know exactly why, but one possible reason is that they burn more fat in the cells with these nuts. There's something in the nuts that makes the, set burn, the cells burn more fat um, than they get from the fat. And the raisins are super high in um, antioxidants. Or oh, take some out, some out of them. No, I don't know. I have another topping. So, the topping is not today. Um, from this, the topping here is, I show you uh, later on more, um, some beautiful thawed strawberries. Strawberries are especially nice for, for pears. Pears and strawberries together are just wonderful. I found out only recently, and the pear is the main part of this fruit set. The large pear is a little bit more than the others, so the raspberry, it's strawberries, and that will be a nice match. And the dressing, the lemon cashew, of course, is um, uh, just another story here. One more blender dance. <laughs> Should do it. Yeah, it looks great. I can already see that. And you have this shiny, glossy surface of the liquid, and you know it's it's right. Mm. Perfect. Show you here. Ah, oh, this lemony flavor. It does so much to the other fruit. Because that's what cooking for to me basically is combining ingredients to make something more than its parts. Isn't it? That's all right. So now I quickly toss everything. I assume it's good. It's a fruit salad where as it was intended. The ingredients are the main part and the dressing is just a little bit to lift them. It's not a main part. Mm. The dressing is more to lift the main parts. So there is not too much dressing. Other fruit salads I have are basically uh, the fruit salad in the dressing. That means it is all over and even a little bit like a soup a little bit. This dressing is really delicious. You can really do that. But this time here, more the ingredients is more important. So the dressing is more in the background and just to lift the others. And to make it a little bit also, and we'll give it a little bit more creaminess. Yeah. Especially when I have no bananas in the fruit salad, no whole bananas, pieces. The dressing uh, with cashews can be bring more creaminess than usually it comes from the bananas in the fruit salad. But this has no bananas in pieces, I mean. So the dressing um, is uh, also giving a little bit of creaminess to that. Oftentimes the creaminess is needed when the other ingredients are too crunchy or something like that. Here I have these uh, strawberries. And you see this is a metal container. Put the hot water here. And a lid on top and in 20 minutes is thawed and then you have this wonderful juice coming out of the strawberries. Um, I put some one in the middle to make it a little more beautiful <laughs> and then the rest I put, a little bit, put, um, put them a little bit so that I can have a nice little visual effect. Just to the sides maybe, make a little circle, no decoration. The decoration of the fruit salad also can also be nice, a nice thing. Mm -hmm. 
and now in the end, the juice, that's an important part, but I, <clears throat> I love this so much with the frozen fruit. Some of them, when you thaw them, they release this wonderful juice, like the strawberries do, and then you have these beautiful juice everywhere, and it's so delicious. Yeah. And you know, by itself, by itself, I wouldn't eat the strawberries when they are thawed without anything. But but when you have this um, with the fruit salad and the creamy dressing, you can combine it. Take a spoon and go deep inside, and they have a cocktail, so to say. And then the strawberries are in good company with the other ingredients. By themselves, the frozen strawberries maybe a little bit um, not so tasty. Now the fresh ones are often oftentimes much more tasty. Tastier, but the frozen ones also have some qualities. They are also tasty, um, uh, but um, um, they are so nice together with the other ingredients here, yeah, the dressing. Yeah. Yeah. The fresh ones, you don't need anything else, of course. <laughs> but the frozen ones have some great, great um, qualities also. They are inexpensive, they are nice, available all the time, and um, they release the juice, and they also they have some uh, great, great, great nutrients also. Like like the fresh ones. Okay. Anyway, wonderful fruit salad, I guess. It's um, a little bit more complex, as I added now these hazelnuts and the raisins um, to the three main fruit already. So I have a lot of ingredients in here, and that also makes a fruit salad more keeping. So when you have uh, more different ingredients or a higher number, that makes it more uh, nutritious and more keeping also. Uh, and you um, and then the nuts and the dried fruit, the raisins. I have hazelnuts and cashews, so that makes a lot of difference. And the dates, also dried fruit, all that makes it extremely nutritious. The other way would be to make a granola, for example. You have a special combination of nuts and seeds and maybe dried fruits uh, combined, and you put that at the bottom of a fruit salad. You add a granola and a fruit salad, and it makes the fruit salad very nutritious and keeping without adding more and more fruit. You can eat a granola by itself. A little plant milk also or fruits or fruit juice but here i have no granola but i have the nuts some kind of nuts and dried fruits together in the fruit also a way so different ways to make a breakfast a breakfast with fruit and nuts and seeds filling and delicious and exciting thanks for watching i hope you enjoy if you like like my video subscribe and be vegan on youtube have another recipe every single day and find me on facebook instagram pinterest and twitter